I always get questions about what is the difference between styling a deceased person's hair and a living person's hair. And I'm going to share with you some of the differences that I have encountered from doing hair for living clients for almost 20 years to now doing hair for the deceased. One main difference that I encountered was when we shampoo their hair. Now, traditionally in the salon, clients lay back in the shampoo bowl. You know, it's, it's ergonomically efficient. But in the funeral home, the difference is they're, they're on the prep table and there is a neck block under their head or their neck and we have to use a hose. And it still has cold and hot water and you still use shampoo and conditioner, but shampoo with the hose and the water runs down the table. Another difference is gravity. So say someone has bangs and they wear their bangs like this, you have to tease their hair otherwise, or use hairspray. Otherwise the bangs kind of, they kind of do whatever they want to do. They go in whatever direction. So you might have to back comb, you might have to curl hair in the opposite way to get it to lay correctly, but that's another difference. You also have to style the person's hair laying down. So when they're laying down, you have to make it look like it was a freshly styled hairstyle and they just laid on the pillow. The hair also sheds a lot, a lot more than it would naturally while someone was living and that's just because of the lack of oxygen to their scalp so the difference is products react differently to the hair as well because there's lack of body heat and temperature so for things that would naturally melt into the hair it sits on top of the hair shaft it turns white it doesn't absorb and what i think it's more is i'll let you know